no shame losing to Georgetown. I think they've lost one game this year. Um, great team, classy, like do it the right way. Um, no weaknesses on the field, and um, they, they, they're, they're a really good squad. So we're disappointed we came up short. Um, I think we wasted our first half. Uh, we had the wind at our back in the first half, and I think we just came out tight, um, a lot like Thursday, playing not to lose, a little bit reactive, and um, I thought they were better than us in the first half. We did a good job fighting off a bunch of corners, um, but we kind of wasted having the wind at our back. In the second half, I thought we played much better. Um, kind of tied into our identity. Uh, I thought we created the more dangerous chances and um, had a few real good ones. And they, I think, had one chance in the second half and she took it incredibly well. So kind of a half volley, rung it off the post and in. Um, we had like 25 minutes to try to find the equalizer. Found a few moments, but Georgetown, if there's one thing they're comfortable doing is uh, defending a lead. And it's always gonna be hard to get it. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's tough being on the wrong side of this, um, but sometimes you need to experience um, a loss in, in a game like this to hopefully learn the lessons you need and be ready, be more equipped for, for next time, next year. And I think we've earned a right to, to play another game. Um, you know, hopefully like the stakes of this game, the urgency that it required, the pressure that you felt um, where every play mattered, hopefully that can translate to another postseason game. You know, um, I think we continue to grow. I think this week's been good for us. These last two games, win one, loss one, I think we've grown as a team. Uh, it's, it's different playing in the postseason than it is the regular season. And we have a lot of young players, a lot of new players that uh, I think we only had three players that were around when we played in the last final. And so um, I, think it'll, I think it'll help us going to the, to the next phase. I want the, the goals before every single season to be to compete for a Big East championship, regular season and postseason and then um, hopefully qualify for the NCAA tournament one way or another, certainly be in the mix. And this year, we came up short. We came up second in the regular season, second in the postseason, but that's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, we're right there, you know, right there. And we, we played Georgetown the tied 0-0 in, in the regular season. I think we might have been the better team. Um, and then this one could have gone either way, and, and they pulled it out. So, um, you know, we, whenever you go a season without winning a championship, you feel like you left maybe something on the table, but a lot to be proud of. I'm super proud of the support that Xavier Nation, uh, Xavier Women's Soccer fans, like tons of, uh, of families came out there, greeted us when our bus rolled in. Um, my wife, Katie's husband, they, they drove in. Um, I have family come in from out of town, like uh, it's special, you know? And I think, again, this experience and just um, raising the expectations for this program year over year where this becomes the norm uh, is what we're trying to set, to set, set going forward.